So what we're looking at is uh, the ridge of high pressure that is centered over the south southeastern United States, and that's what's bringing those uh, high temperatures because of the sinking air underneath this red, these red and, and purple colors is where we have the most sinking air, the hottest temperatures. A heat dome has been commonly used in the last several years especially to describe essentially what happens when we have a ridge of high pressure that sets up and kind of sits over one spot in the country for an extended period of time. And uh, typically these are associated with heat waves being abnormally hot weather over at least two or more days. And so in this instance, we have high pressure. And high pressure is basically forcing air to sink. And so we, we, we know that hot air likes to rise. So on, in general, hot air is rising, but it reaches this, um, this dome of high pressure that is forcing it downward, causing it to compress and further heat. So it, it's kind of this continual cycle where the air is rising and sinking, and as it sinks, it heats more and more. And the thing that's more, most dangerous about these heat waves is that we also, we don't get the relief at night a lot of times. So the low temperatures are sometimes in the upper 70s, 80s, upper 80s, and that doesn't provide enough relief in the overnight hours. So we're already starting the next day hotter than we normally would be. Um, so these heat domes can persist for days and even you know a week, a week or more and it, it, they don't allow clouds to form because of the sinking air, which would at least provide a little bit of relief. So um, that all in combination leads to an extended period of dangerous heat. <laughs> heat domes can be very dangerous. Uh, heat is actually the number one weather killer in the world. It, um, and the most people are injured by heat because it is kind of a sneaky uh, a threat because most people don't really think of heat as being that dangerous. But when we get these heat waves, a lot of uh, people experience physical ailments that are exacerbated by heat. So especially when we're talking about the sensitive groups like elderly people, uh, young, young children, um, people that work outside in the heat uh, for extended periods of time, they're the most susceptible because uh, their bodies cannot cool themselves properly and especially when we have high humidity like we do in this instance because the, the sweat cannot evaporate off your skin because of the humidity in the air, it's so moist, so it doesn't allow our skin to cool off. And so that can make it extremely dangerous. And then again, the fact that we're not cooling down at night very much. So we're not getting that relief at night. So it's not allowing our bodies and, and the air around us to, to see that cooling down. So then the next day we start off already, already too hot. And then it gets further exacerbated uh, as the sun comes out and, and heats us again. Basically, it's going to feel a, a little bit like you're in an oven, it feels, compared to, to, to a typical summer day. Um, just because, especially in places like the Northeast and um, the Boston, the New England area, we're not typically used to heat this extreme. We're looking at record-breaking heat, actually, for the month of June up here in the Northeast. And so it's going to feel quite unusual, and it can feel like your the heat is radiating off of the ground. You can sometimes visualize it. You can see the waviness in the air as the, as the heat is radiating off of the ground. And depending on how humid it is, again, it can feel like you're kind of walking through very thick air because of that really high humidity that just uh, doesn't allow your sweat to evaporate. So when we have these heat waves, we encourage people to, for one, limit your time outdoors as much, much as possible because if you can stay inside, you should. If you have to be working outside, we encourage people to take frequent breaks to wear clothing that is, is good at moisture wicking and is, and is loose um, so that you can cool, your body can cool itself off and to drink lots of water. That's one of the most important things because heat stroke and heat exhaustion can sneak up on you really quickly, especially if you're not drinking water.